to Avatar, The Last Airbender, season one, episode three. So I did make an announcement that Avatar, The Last Airbender has been greenlit for a season two and season three by Netflix. So obviously the views were viewing and the likes were liking, honey, and the people definitely were commenting. So it's gonna be having another two installments of this show, and I'm actually very excited. So far the first two episodes have been giving me life, liberty, and justice, and I just wanna jump into the third episode. So let's do that. You wanna see this in a full reaction? I know you do. It is available for my Patreon members, so please click the link down below and join Patreon today. Now subscribe to my other YouTube channel. That's right, I have two of them. Please subscribe, and the link to that one is down below, Andres Reacts. So please subscribe today, y'all, and be part of the family. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Avatar, The Last Airbender, and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Fire Nation. Everything is set. We strike tonight. We don't need numbers. We have our anger. I want you to meet someone willing to risk everything for our cause. She works at the palace. She's willing to help us. A great personal risk. Our Lord Ozai must die tonight! I don't think that's gonna work, y'all. She set them up. But you must have known. This was a one-way journey. We expected that all decent Fire Nation citizens would have welcomed being freed from your tyranny. Tyranny? Have I not led us to the brink of bringing the entire world under one rule? Our rule. How many more lives will it take another century of loss and suffering? We've prided ourselves on our resourcefulness. Isn't that right? Azula. Yes, Father. Oh. <laughs> the one who will restore balance to the world. The one who has returned to us. Can you believe they think the Avatar has returned? Leave us. A message from one of my commanders in the Southern Seas. No one of any importance. Your brother has done the impossible. Just as I'd asked. The Avatar. Weight shift. Wrist snap. Okay. And to the harder moves, like the water whip. You really need to reach inside and feel the energy flow. Tap into your feelings and gather energy from them. Tap into your feelings. I think that's what they said. I never listened. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. We shouldn't stay in the same place for too long. <laughs> I liked her too. Yeah, she was cool. Well, he may be the Avatar, but he still needs to eat and drink. A population center, then. Tar remains in this area. If he gets too far north, there are Fire Nation forces everywhere. They're sure to find out. You don't need to be told any more than necessary. Commander Zhao's ship has arrived. Perfect timing to the Fire Nation. Word is, Zhao failed his officer training program three times. Did I ask for your opinion? It was gossiping about a superior officer. An officer you don't like? That's beside the point. We are Fire Nation. Even out here. Omashu was carved out of a living mountain. It's one of the wonders of the Earth Kingdom. The people there, the artists, scientists, builders, plus the food there is amazing. Oh, look at this! They don't take kindly to outsiders in Omashu. What makes you think we're outsiders? <laughs> we just could use a little help getting inside. Um. I'm sure you can make that look good too. Oh god, I'm gonna have another love interest. Our vendors haven't been able to take it yet. That's why they're so careful here. So how do you know we're not a threat? She told me I wasn't watering the turnips enough. Yeah, there was a reason I married her. You'd be amazed at how much you can say without words. Just the other day, he made us laugh so hard. All right, that's enough. Move along. Good luck finding your friend. And be careful. Oh, we're probably gonna see him again. Wait up! You're not an airbender. Of course I'm not. Ah! He 
he's an airbender. We should get him out of the smoke. <laughs> here, our house is right here. Thank you. Nothing the Fire Nation does is an accident. The Fire Nation? Yeah. Your spies are everywhere in the city. That guy might be a, a You're fire an airbender. spy. Do you realize what this means? We finally have a way to take the fight to the enemy. That's the mechanist, the king of Omashi. Mechanist? Ah, just a fancy word for someone who wastes a lot of time tinkering. Everyone in Omashi were as dedicated as you. This war would be over. Fire Nation would be on their knees by now. This stuff is incredible. I mean, look at this. Those are for cleaning under your toenails. We can't get bloody. This place used to be incredible. A place I couldn't wait to see. A place where amazing things were created. Not destroyed. Being the avatar isn't just about fighting. It's about helping people. Like Tarana's father. If I'm going to save the world, I have to do it one person at a time. That's why I'm staying in Omashu. He's done the impossible. He's done nothing. Who's the one risking her life to root out traitors? People in the resistance are on the brightest of flames. <laughs> and again, what can you expect from peasants? Zuzu wants us to make it back here and take away everything I've worked for. Technically, he is first in line to be Fire Lord. Has hope. And that's dangerous. There are always ways to get in the game. If you know which pieces to play. Your mother was taken from us by this curse of war. And I remember everything we've had to do to stay alive since then. You pretend like you don't care what's going on out there, but I know you hate the Fire Nation as much as I do. I'm not here to cause any trouble. All I want is to help. I have a hunch about where the bombers might be gathering. It's high up on the mountain. You're supposed to help me with the airship. I still need to fix the attitude control before I show it to the generals. I can help with that. There are ways to gain entry if you know the right people, which I do. If anything happens in Omashu, we won't be able to help you. We know what it means to be on our own. The mechanist is a traitor. Wow. The mechanist has been working for the Fire Nation, building devices, selling secrets. The mechanist may be a turncoat, but he's a coward. He never take any direct action. This one, on the other hand, you can call me Jet. Jet. The pursuit was so clumsy. I wasn't sure you'd ever catch up. Oh. Nice moves. And a feeling you knew how to handle yourself. Hmm. Really? Where's he taking him? Don't worry. Pipsqueak knows how to take out the garbage. It's here, an event here. All you need to do is install a bleed valve to regulate pressure. Your father must be proud of you. The world is filled with warriors. There are far too few great engineers. Not always easy to find your path in life, but when you find it, you must embrace it. You must. The mineral tanners used to cure animal skins. They came up here to dig it out of the mountain. And I think he sometimes wishes I was more like him. Mm. Don't get me wrong, he's incredible. He built their life here. He's working with them. He's always said that it's just me and him. I need to do anything to protect us. I want him to see that we have to do everything we can to save the world. Because if not us, then who? I still don't understand what firebenders are doing in the Earth Kingdom city. In the old days, the city stood strong. But as the war dragged on, the king lost his nerve. So you just took it on yourselves to fight the firebenders? Yes! If not us, then who? Uh -huh. We're orphans. Refugees. Mine seems so much like a Peter Pan. What are we now, Smeller B? Freedom fighters! Yeah! Freedom fighters! If you mix tin carb with salt water and then boil it down, you get this. Blasting jelly. A few wow. jars to blow half the neighborhood sky high. Firebenders weren't behind the explosion. When the Fire Nation came to our village, she held them off. Well, my dad had me a well. When I came back up, they're all gone. It was quiet. And then my mom died. You have to use everything inside you to help you fight. I remember... Love. Her getting up every morning before everyone else. And every day, she would stop when the sun rose. Remember the sunrise. Remember the sunrise. <sighs> we don't have to be afraid of our pain. We just need to decide what we're going to do with it. What are you doing? 
trying some omashu barbecue. It's not often you get the opportunity. What happened there? I'm told that Fire Nation agents in the city have taken to so in terror to weaken the Earthbenders' resistance. Given how long this war has lasted, who knows what true north lies in the Fire Nation. I'd be in your debt if you kept me informed of the progress of your mission, particularly as it relates to Prince Suzuko. The Flame Eternal, Princess Azula. Uh, you know the officer on Prince Zuko's crew, the one who slipped you the information about the Avatar? I'd like to speak to him. Sir. Hey, when I found where the bombers have been getting their explosives. They're making blasting jelly in a cave up on the mountain. So it wasn't the firebringers behind the explosion? It was You're not gonna believe this. I know who's behind the bombings. He didn't lie. He didn't tell the truth. Because he couldn't. Besides, I saw Sai talking to the firebender. He's the traitor. You don't know what you saw. Never believing anything I say. I'm so sick of you treating me like I'm a little girl. Then grow up. Would you like to try one of them? Not right now. I mean, you were there when we confirmed the mechanism was a traitor. He took care of his partners. Now we need to take care of him. We know how to take out the garbage. I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, no, no. No harm done. Okay. No harm done. Okay. You're going to blow him up? Not just him. He's got an audience with the king. The warehouse we destroyed, that was a meeting spot for spies. And by flushing them out, we got those three yesterday. Katara! It's too late! It's the fastest way to the palace. It's at the highest point of the city. Uh -oh. This is my fight. Oh. I don't need fire to defeat this boy. Oh! Oh, damn. I have an idea. Come on. The end of the line may be coming soon. Two, three. Wow. Stand and fight. For what? Why is it so important to you? You're an enemy of the Fire Nation. Why, you've been hunting me for three years? I don't know, it's been three years. There's a lot of characters, obviously, I don't know that popped up in this episode. I don't know the animation. So, I, and I think, did I ever see, like, wasn't there a movie? Did I see that? I saw the movie already. I don't know. If I did see the movie, I don't remember the movie. Um, but since I'm not really familiar with it, there's a lot of characters that probably popped up that people who are familiar with the animation of Avatar, The Last Airbender, they probably knew it. They were like, oh, yes. Oh, I love this. Um, I think that the star of this episode probably was all of the earthbenders. I really like their bending of the earth, um, <laughs> cause that's what they do. And I also really liked the Fire Nation's, uh, the Fire Lord's, whatever, his daughter, Azula. Is her name Azula, not Azul? Probably Azula, right? Um, that makes sense. I really think she brought it, once she came up on the scene and we found out that she's the daughter, Every, ever since then, her acting was all the way up here. I think that she really did bring it. I think she's, so far, I think she's the strongest child actor in this show that I've met, in my opinion. I, she really was amazing. And I really like the Fire Lord. Is it, can I call him a Fire Lord? Um, I can't pronounce his name, but he also is very good at acting and made me really dive into both of their characters. I wanted to stay with them, um, although they're evil. I loved it. Now, the my I don't know why I feel like 
I still think that the water, um, sh sh what is his name? The brother of the water bender girl. The brother, I feel like it's like the weakest person on the show thus far that I've met. I feel like he's, he could deliver lines sometimes that are comedic, but overall, I just, I just, he kind of takes me out of my element sometimes. So I don't know what it is. Um, the water bender girl, I hope as we, you know, as she's learning more about how to bend water, that she'll start, like, start growing on me. She's still on the outskirts, but I don't mind that she's there. And I actually have no choice. So, um, that, there's that. And then the Avatar guy, he's a good, he also needs to grow on me too, but I do like his performances. And I, I feel like that the fighting, his action scenes are really good. It's just, once again, I have to adjust myself, especially since I watch a bunch of shows for my channels. So sometimes like switching over to different genres or different actors and how they portray their characters, it weighs on me for some odd reason. I'm still in my mind trying not to compare what I saw previously and before I filmed this show. But I do sometimes when I'm thinking about the acting and how they bring it. But a lot of these are children actors and I don't know if they have done other things before, but if they haven't done other things before, it clearly shows for me, but I don't mind it. You know, you live, you learn, and you guys, you guys are making tons of money on this show. And now that since there's a season two and three, you're gonna continue making money. So who am I to judge? Overall, the story, I love the story. I think the scenery was amazing. The VFX is on par. Um, we had um, we had the extra, the extras doing their extras thing, the guy with the cabbage, as well as the king, the two seconds on film. They probably made a nice little chunk of change. Um, and so the earth benders seem to be the more dangerous for the fire benders, but the wind benders or airbenders are the weak point for fire, which is also weird because you would think it would be water. But then it would also be air because the air could suck out. If air is going away from fire, that's when it, you know, they suffocate fire, the fire goes out. But so does water. You throw water on fire. Not always. It could ignite and be bigger. Regardless, here I go with the elements. Um, I would give this episode an... I think in the beginning, I would give it a seven, although I really like that flying bison and as well as that weird looking bat thing with Chiggy. Um, as we proceeded to get towards the ending, I got really into it and then I would lean towards an eight. But I feel like this episode for me was between a seven and eight. So that's why I'll say a 7.5. I think it's a 7.5. I will look up what other people say, but at this point I'm exhausted. Um, but I'm looking forward to continue on to the journey of see what else is going to happen in the other episodes. We have how many episodes to go? Okay. So we have one more episode to go into episode four, into the dark. And I don't know if that will be a slower episode. They generally are. When the episodes in the, when you're right in the middle of a season, that one particular episode is always slower. It's always the filler. It's always building the stories for all these other characters. And I feel like maybe possibly that's what we're gonna get. If it happens, then it follows track of so many other shows and movies, or I should say so shows. Um, think of it as like, not the third act, the second act is the fourth, is the in-between episode. So definitely it's gonna most likely be a filler episode or a very heavy story episode and not that much action. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing here. Um, so once again, I would give this episode a 7.5. Definitely comment down below what you thought about this episode. And if you know these characters that popped up in this episode, comment down below and let me know because clearly I do not. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please smash the like button, share, don't forget to comment down below, and I will see y'all next time with more reactions. Bye.